Guys, it's only just begun for Mike Rinder, so it seems. This is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I am Toddy One Skip. Welcome back to my channel, and thank you so much. Thank you so much for allowing me to be part of your day and for spending some of your time with me because I know time is precious, especially nowadays. So thank you so much. Guys, there's so many of you, and I am so grateful. It wasn't that long ago that there was 22, then 44, and you guys are just... And I'm doing everything I can to keep the channel going, to be interesting. You guys have given me some ideas uh, to talk about some crimes, some other um, crimes and such. And uh, you still want Scientology and you still want Gypsy Rose. <laughs> well, we're going to go with Scientology tonight. We're going to go with Mike Rinder. And the reason why we're going to go with Mike Rinder is because, again, I ask, will it ever stop for him? And it doesn't seem it will until he bridges this gap and sits down and tells people, if it's not him, then tell them who it is that they can be angry at. Serge, Kelly, Nora, Miriam, Liz, guys, these people need somebody to talk to they need somebody to answer some questions for them and if Mike Render is saying it's not me then Mike Render you need to tell them who it is I think that's fair there's a few things that make me question are you telling the truth because maybe your credibility isn't so good and maybe we understand why we don't believe you I always thought Mike had cancer when he said he had cancer I did now there's a language being said that, you know, I believe that Mike said on his uh, blog, or a lot of people said for him as well as him, that he had stage four cancer. According to Aaron, he never had, he never really had that, according to what Aaron says. I'm going to show you what Aaron says. play for you what Aaron Smith Levin said in his last live about Mike Rinder's cancer. By the way, for anyone who goes, how can you guys be attacking someone who's battling cancer? Guys, based on Mike Rinder's own videos, Mike Rinder does no longer have cancer. I'm not telling secrets out of school. Maybe you guys don't watch all of Mike's videos. Mike's last two PET scans have been completely cancer-free. Mike Rinder never had cancerous tumors in his body. He had fluid that was accumulating in his lungs. The fluid was testing positive for cancer. After many, many, many tests... Okay, here's where my first confusion comes. And I'm hoping that people who are more knowledgeable than I am can clear this up. Aaron says here, Mike Rinder never had cancerous tumors in his body, but it is my understanding that stage four cancer, this is from cancercenter.com. Stage four cancer is spread from its original location to distant parts of the body. It's sometimes referred to as metastatic cancer. This stage may, may be diagnosed years after the initial cancer diagnosis and after the primary cancer has been treated or removed. So Aaron just said, Mike Rinder has never had cancerous tumors in his body. If that's the case, how could he have stage four cancer? Aaron says that there's a mutation in his blood cells that is causing cancer. And Aaron said and has continued to say that Mike is on very expensive medication that he will probably be on for the rest of his life. And that is why Aaron did the fundraiser so that Mike could start his treatment. I don't know how they were going to continue it how often as he needs it, but at least Aaron got him to start his treatment. However, we were led to believe that Mike had stage four cancer. And I'm not sure that that part is true. Was he in danger of losing his life? I believe that. Was there cancer in there somewhere? Absolutely, I believe that. You know, I didn't donate any money from Mike Rinder's cancer treatment. I don't think I did. I don't think I did. But those people that did have every right to know. But here's the thing, Mike never asked for it. He just thanked people for it. He had Aaron ask people for it, which he said he didn't do. I'm beginning to think that there's some manipulation in Mike Rinder. I don't think he had to ask Aaron. I think he knew what Aaron was going to do. I think, 
Unfortunately, he's played Aaron for a little bit. I didn't see that, but I think I see that now. Mike Rinder is the umbrella, it seems, for everything bad that happened under OSA by the procedures that he put in place that he wanted followed, but that somehow he doesn't want to be accountable for. How does that make it so? Alonzo's blog has brought up some great, great receipts of how Mike Rinder had Aaron Smith Levin believe that there was something crazy about not only Alonzo, but about Jerry Armstrong. Anything to squash any kind of criticism. Yet there's criticism that Aaron wasn't allowed to speak, and that was supposedly the reason that he got kicked out of the Aftermath Foundation. I'm not talking out of both sides of my mouth. I still think Aaron should have been booted out because of his behavior. But according to them, it was about him talking about Graham, right? The lawyer Graham. But in the meantime, they, Chris Shelton, Mike Rinder, Marty, uh, well, Marty, God only knows what Marty <laughs> Mark Headley, Claire Headley, they have all bashed who they call allies that are just on the wrong side of the crevice now. Now they're not speaking highly of Aaron, yet Aaron is still trying to bring light to Scientology, to bring light to what is wrong there, the children that are there. What are they talking about over there in Blown for Good? Again, there hasn't been anything in the Aftermath Foundation uh, YouTube channel that I've seen. And there hasn't been a lot on Mike Rinder's channel. Jerry Armstrong, apparently, um, from what I understand is the person that checked on L. Ron Hubbard's biography, or what he thought was L. Ron Hubbard's biography, only to find out it was all falsehood. He brought it to the attention of Mike Rinder and, and the people there um, in Scientology, and they went after him. They fair-gamed him. Not because he made anything up, but because he showed them truth. You remember in a previous video, I talked about Jerry Armstrong and how it was actually a tactic by Marty, Mike, and Dave in order to gain tax exemption to call Jerry Armstrong insane so that no one would listen to him about any of the things anymore in court. And so here you see Aaron Smith-Levin in a tweet. We're talking about Jerry Armstrong and Aaron Smith-Levin tweets this. Jerry Armstrong, you mean the guy who hears the voices speaking to him from the air conditioner vents? Yeah. Mike told me all about it, including how he reached out to Jerry and apologized not long ago. But you don't care about that, do you? So as you can see here, Aaron Smith-Levin is running an OSA program to make Jerry Armstrong look insane. And why? That's part of protecting their tax exemption. But this second half, it's just, it's amazing. Mike told me all about it, including how he reached out to Jerry and apologized not long ago. Well, when I exhumed this tweet for this video, I sent this tweet to Jerry, and then I followed up with him with a phone call. And I said, you know, Aaron in this tweet says that that Mike Rinder reached out to you and apologized to you not too long ago from 2018. Here he says, it never happened. Here you see that Aaron Smith-Levin is actually taking what Mike lied to him about, and he is publicly using that to try to discredit Jerry Armstrong, which protects the tax-exempt status. So this idea of apologizing to Jerry, first of all, it's false. Mike Rinder lied. He never called Jerry to apologize for anything. But They're still discrediting and still knocking people the same way. And now these are the young adults that are the victims of something that he helped perpetrate. And Mike, if it's not you who can give them the answers, tell them who it is. Let them know. Let them get their closure. Why is this so difficult? He's gone on vacation, so I don't want to hear that Mike's, you know, been ill and going through things. These are things you need to address because by not addressing them, you are speaking volumes. Guys, I implore you to look at Ilonzo's blog. I'm going to go ahead and send, um, send you the link for that.
Guys, if you can explain it, we'll all understand. <laughs> but I don't understand. That's the trouble. That's where people have a difficulty trusting Mike Rinder. Because there's too many questions. There's too many questions. Guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I am Toddy One Skip. Please like, subscribe, and share. Please make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Because I thought I was subscribed to somebody's channel. And I looked and I wasn't subscribed. But I know that I subscribed to them. So, I don't know. I think that really does happen. So, please, guys, I'd appreciate it. And uh, thank you again for everything. Please continue in the chat. I'm a little behind in the chat. A little behind. I worked an extra day this week. And um, I'm doing the best I can, guys. I so appreciate you. Until next time, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. Be better today than you were yesterday, but not half as good as you're going to be tomorrow. Thanks, guys. What is Scientology? How would you describe it? Well, it's very interesting. You've just asked a question like, what are the contents of the Encyclopedia Britannica? Answer in one word. Well, Mr. Hubbard, it's obviously something that's very wide-ranging. And if you can't describe it overall, perhaps we can begin at the beginning. I began to ask this question, what is man? And uh, I found oddly enough that nobody could tell me what man was. I became very fascinated with this particular line of research and I made it my life's work. You have to rub elbows with all kinds and types of men before you can finally establish what he is. And you in fact did this? Yes, I've slept with bandits in Mongolia and I've uh, uh, hunted uh, with uh, pygmies in the Philippines. As a matter of fact, I have studied 21 uh, different primitive races, uh, including the white race.